there's one thing you can't say about Quantic Dream and effectively David Cage games, you can't call them unambitious. As Fahrenheit aims high, yep. Heavy Rain aims really high, and Beyond Two Souls does the same thing. Yes, it certainly throws up the formula of what is your standard game. It's, mm. it's a much more cinematic approach of games and storytelling in itself. So uh, with Beyond Two Souls, of course, they've got some pretty big name actors in there, Ellen yeah. Page and Willem Dafoe, mm -hmm. and they're really trying to tell a story of Jodie Holmes. Yes, a grand story spanning about 23 years of her life as she tries to live with this entity, Iden, that's tied to her. It has sort of loose control of the world. It can move around objects. It can possess people. It could perhaps kill them if you're yep. so inclined. So yeah, the the story itself, it does jump a bit back and forward mm. throughout Jodie's life when she's a kid, uh, dealing with uh, the entity yeah. as well as like uh, during her teenage years, she gets bullied and mm. you, you get to throw around some stuff as I did. <laughs> that, was that, a, that was a great chapter. That, that was a particularly good scene, but I feel that a lot of it is just missed opportunity, especially mm. with the gameplay, because it is a lot of quick time events, but I didn't, it seems that there was a lot of potential to, in uh, how you approach a situation, you can take over people and assault a compound, mm. but it is only the way the game lets you, unfortunately. I. But that said, the game is focused it on is the storytelling. It is a story game. It is yeah. a David Cage game. So you, you are going to get the one straight path. Yeah. And for what it does, though, it is probably the best that um, Quantic Dream have done with sort of gameplay. The action scenes, the fighting scenes, they feel dynamic. Yeah, even they actually if it is, flow really well. If, even if it is just pushing the right stick in the general direction that Jody is supposed to be moving. Yeah, uh, there is a few ambiguous ones where yeah. uh, you just don't know the direction. You're supposed to... What the, like, what the hell's that? Yeah, <laughs> you, you, you push the stick in the direction that she's punching and mm. all that sort of stuff. But that said, there's no fail state in the quick time events. So it, even if you do muck up a few inputs with the combat, you'll always get to the end of the scene where you're supposed mm. to be. Uh, same with dialogue. Uh, yeah. You can choose certain lines uh, which are based around the emotion that Jody's mm. feeling, so it's like angry for, or whatever. And for what it's worth, the writing in, in this game is better than Heavy Rain better. for sure. And the story, <laughs> well, it deals with both the sort of low end and the high end stuff. Yeah. But I kind of didn't like the sort of whole government aspect of her CIA life. I just wanted to have yeah. more Jody trying to cope with, I didn't, this this perpetual presence yeah. in her life and uh, those scenes are always the most interesting and those sort of down quiet moments where Ellen Page and Willem Dafoe have a chance to be dramatic those are the best because the acting in yes. this game is quite good as well it's yeah. all performance captured by the actors so, so that, that said some of the scenes are fantastic some yeah. of them are a bit fillerish mm. but it definitely would have made a better movie in my opinion it is at the very least probably the best that Quantic Dream have done take that for what it's worth